Welcome to First Taste TV. And today our featured partners are LTI and General Mills. And don't they have something new for us today? I don't know, we'll just have to wait and find out. But first, the ICN resource of the day. In the iBytes podcast series, Dr. Luanda Morse, the Associate Director of Grants at ICN, interviews professionals from around the country discussing relevant topics within child nutrition. Check out episode 17 with one of my personal favorites, Ms. Beverly Girard. Brought to you by the Institute of Child Nutrition. Here we are, finally. In Florida. At Mountain Door High School on a virtual field trip shooting LTI, LTI. which is gonna be super incredibly exciting. Low Temp Industries, super excited to be here. Let's do this thing. Oh my gosh. Here we go. <laughs> is it Willis here? Willis is here. Willis. Willis. Hey, Marlon. Hey, Willis. Hey, man. Good, to good to see you. Willis. Can you tell us what you guys did with the survey line? Just walk us through it. Tell us all about it. Marlon, Mount Dora wanted the ability to be able to serve hot and cold foods side by side. They also want to be able to serve more of a variety of foods. The problem is they have limited space. So we actually designed the survey line upward. Let's walk through it and I'll kind of talk you through it. So we laid out the survey line here at Mount Dora with LTI quick switch food wells. The LTI quick switch food wells allows you to keep the food hot, cold, or frozen. Here you see the first well is hot with burritos and tacos. The second well is cold with salsa and sour cream. And then the third well is hot again with chicken nuggets. And then the fourth well is cold again with salad. Wait, well, did you say you can see frozen too? Yes, you can actually serve ice cream in the ice cream <laughs> mode, frozen. And what's nice is that you can do it side by side. Each individual well could be hot, cold, or frozen. So how long does it take to get the temperature? So you can go from hot to cold or hot to frozen within one hour. Wow, talk about versatility. Yeah. This is our quick switch saran glass. Each saran glass is independently controlled and can be frost or hot. So you can make both of these hot or both frost. By going vertically, we're able to serve more food and offer more offerings. As we go to the next section, we designed this with a Tempest Air cold pan. Tempest Air cold pans can be as long as 12 pans. Here we did the uh, salad bar on the bottom. Like today, we're utilizing them with fruit, uh, vegetables, water, and Gatorade. Then on the top, we did a frost top for the parfaits. You can do whole pans, eight pans, third pans. It makes it really flexible for whatever you want to serve. Great. That would be perfect for my salad bar. Now, if we move down, this is really a nice, unique item. This is the glass sliding top beverage cooler. LTI designs this to be built right in the line. That way, you don't have a separate beverage cooler that's just sitting to the side, which is more traditional in most school lines. Here, this is good for merchandising with the chips, fruits and vegetables, uh, easy to access. One of the most unique things about this line is they picked a quartz tray stock. That's nicer than the countertops at my house. You know, it's a way to really make a school serving line top of the line mm -hmm. without adding a lot of cost. So Willis, tell me, is this all one piece or is this mix and match? Can people really customize their experience and what they're looking for in a serving line with LTI? This is a custom line. It's designed to fit perfectly in this dining room space. So what we'll do is we'll come in and actually look at the menu. We see what food they actually want to serve. And then we'll design the number of wells, the number of frost tops, hot tops, the number of salad bars, the number of beverage stations based off their menu. And then we'll lay it out to fit just right. With the ability to toggle from refrigeration to hot holding to even frozen, this really allows for an ever-changing menu. What's nice is you don't have to plan your menu to fit your equipment. The equipment is flexible, so you can change your menu daily. You know, we're doing this for the students. And the first day when you renovate a cafeteria or a serving area, and you see these students come in, and uh, you can really tell it makes them happy. They appreciate that. And when you see that, that's the best thing about my job. 
can only imagine the wow factor of a student coming into this beautiful cafeteria. The colors are so beautiful and bright and welcoming. So Willis, talk to me about what is going on here. What did you guys design? Before the walls were painted beige, concrete block walls, there was some PLA murals that needed some help. So we actually came in and brought in colors to accent the school's vibrant orange color. And then of course we decorated the serving lines. To do something like this, how long does it take? We came in over a weekend and did the painting. Hold on a second, over the weekend? Yeah, we came in on a Friday and worked all late Friday night, all day Saturday, all day Sunday. Wow. Wow. And then the next weekend we came in and installed all the signage. And you guys designed the signage too, right? That is correct. Our graphic designs designs all the signs. So we'll work with the food service directors mm -hmm. and then they can take that back to the principals and the school nutrition departments to get the approval. You guys seem to have a real care for doing what's best for the school. Like it's all about them. They're the heroes of the story. So you have students, they, they come in, they give their feedback, principals give feedback, it's really great. I remember one principal and I'll quote her and she said, it just makes you happy. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. I definitely feel happy here. <laughs> Love to eat lunch here every day. <laughs> Hey Mike, it's Amanda, and guess what? I found Kevin from Eaton just hanging around, so I pulled him in for the conversation. Hey Mike, how you doing? Kevin Dillon, hey buddy, <laughs> I'm glad you're there. All the guys of Eaton Marketing are awesome. So what we did is we took layouts and, and footprints of everything and made a design that would fit um, what was there before so we could utilize the existing utilities so we can come in on a Friday and pull out the old stuff, bring in the new stuff, and be ready to serve on a Monday. That strive to do right now we are uh, promoting LTI 24 7 which basically means that we don't have to install your serving lines over a long summer recess mm -hmm. you know we can do them over any weekend if it's a three-day weekend or just a regular weekend or we do them at a spring break or Thanksgiving or any kind of break like that tell us what your favorite thing is about this job the way it displays the food I mean, the LED lights and the frosted glass and the heated black shelves, um, I just think it's just an awesome, awesome sermon line. You saw it for yourself. It really came out beautiful. Students have a choice of whether they can come to the cafeteria. So in essence, to capture those sales, you need them here. So what a better way to mm -hmm. capture their attention than a beautiful area where they feel comfortable and happy. Yeah, there's some magic happening here. For sure. <laughs> yeah. I love how everybody comes together and works together for the school districts. That's what I love about our industry. Everybody works together. It is so hot in Florida. How did you live here for that long? What's weird is I actually miss the humidity. I love the humidity That's now. Because the you heat. don't have hair. <laughs> true. True. Wow, what an incredible cafeteria transformation we saw today. And the work that LTI put into this is absolutely amazing. I just love the fact how they partner with the stakeholders and accomplishes this amazing renovation in serving lines. Definitely a wow moment, and I'm so excited that we got to feature them yes. on First Space TV. Absolutely. So let's head back to the studio. Hey, guys. <laughs> So this episode, we have General Mills and Jasmine. How are you doing? Good, how are you guys? Welcome to the set. Thank you. So excited to be here. I know we have a ton to talk about. I brought my like Santa Claus sack worth of products. So yes. we have um, tons of things that came out in the past year. And we also have some new exclusive reveals Ooh, that we are doing just nice. here. So I'm excited to talk about that too. Jasmine, yeah. we have uh, Chef Sharon, who we've featured on the show before. She does such cool stuff with her chef checks. Yay. And school nutrition rock star. Donette Worthy <laughs> from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. So Donette, thank you so much for coming today. Thank you all for having me. I'm so excited to be here and to see what all new products that you have to show us. We have quite a few things to get through. We've got these trays here. And so on your tray, we are going to start with something that you might not have expected us to start with, which is something that's not individually wrapped from, uh, from General Mills. And that is our new freezer to oven bakery portfolio. Mm -hmm. So about two years ago, we launched our freezer to oven cinnamon roll, which we are super excited about. Yes. Um, and now we have the latest and greatest in that line, which is our muffin top. And so mm -hmm. in your little baggie, which we put together for the the coffee shop appeal. Yeah. <laughs> you have a blueberry muffin top. And I love the we I like the you. notes. Yes. 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 Thank you. Oh, welcome back. Yes. 
Donna, what does freezers or oven mean to you as a director? It means high quality food, but it's faster and more efficient for my staff. And we actually already use uh, the, the cinnamon rolls and awesome. our students love them. So I'm very excited about trying this as something maybe new that we could bring on. Good, that's so great. So as you're mm, tasting them, they're good. big, but this is actually one grain, which is why it's paired with a cheese stick. Mm -hmm. um, what we heard from a lot of operators while we were building this product was that they wanted to be able to serve protein in the morning, but that they wanted to be able to have something that was baked and had that homemade scratch mm -hmm. appeal as well. So this kind of pairs the best of both worlds. These yeah. are well, real blueberries. Yes, yes those real are blueberries. amazing. Yeah. And the best part of the muffin. Yes. I mean, you gave us the muffin you. top, right? <laughs> Who wants the stump? No one. <laughs> no one wants that. And then you don't have to have muffin tins on site, so you don't have to wash right. them. And this mm -hmm. is truly, you just throw it on a tray, 20 minutes in the oven, and you're done. So for me, that means that I can bring in my staff a little bit closer to service, and they still have a bakery fresh product. Yes. That's great. Fabulous. Definitely. All right, so next we have our Yoplait Smooth Yogurt mm -hmm. line. We are known for Parfait Pro. If you're familiar with the uh, yogurt in a bag, we know Trix and Gogurt. But this past year, we actually launched our Yoplait Smooth. And so One there flavor. are three different flavors. But today we brought our Orchata. Mm -hmm. And Ooh. has anyone had this yet? No. 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 Uh, yes, fabulous. So, no. We actually uh, had a show and we were looking at the Horchata, it was the fastest item I've ever seen added to a bid okay. because it was universally, I mean, the flavors that you guys have invoked into this yogurt is delicious. I've grabbed multiple uh, during this remote feeding time. Mm. Oh, I love that. Isn't nice. it good? Oh my I have so many ideas for this. Yay. So Chef, oh, can fabulous. you tell us a little bit about horchata and how it's used? Absolutely, I can tell you it's my husband's favorite drink in the entire world. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's normally from Mexico and it works well with all of the Latin cuisines mm -hmm. that are becoming increasingly popular on our menus. And what a great way to add some protein. I mean, it's smooth, it's creamy, it's sweet. Mm -hmm. it's and everyone amazing. kind of, everyone's grandmother kind of has their own res horchata recipe, kind of like chili in America. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really neat that General Mills has come together and really you know, taking this flavor and brought it to the limelight. Fabulous, all right. So um, we are going to transition into some product reveal before Ooh. I am ready to yes. pull them out. Okay. Very exciting. I know. Um, so we launched our two grain cereal about two yes. years ago now. We've got it pictured over here um, mm -hmm. in a little stack and we launched five different flavors. Mm -hmm. And we knew when we launched it that we had the top five flavors in K-12. We were really excited about that, but we also knew we had some gaps. Mm -hmm. And one of those was we didn't have a fruity flavor. Okay. Mm -hmm. and the other is that we needed some more low sugar options. Okay. And so we took that and we've been working it for the past year and we figured out what we wanted to bring to market. And I'm super excited to reveal that to you. So I think we're ready to pull our brand new. Should we do a drum roll? Ooh, we should do a drum roll. Yes, brand new <laughs> blueberry checks, two Ooh, grain cereal. All right. all right. And I will tell you why you're going to love it. The reasons are as follows. One, it is fruity <laughs> and blueberry and delicious. Two, it's gluten-free. Ah. Three, it's CACFP eligible. Okay. So it has awesome. all of those boxes checked, and I would love for you guys to taste it yourselves. Yes, yes let's um, do it. I think we'll we have some, some ready yes. over here. You want to grab that, Marlon? I would love to. And what I love about the two-ounce cereal is not only is this a great solution for K-12, but also collegiate, and you folks couple your segment, this segment of your business with convenience. So retail and convenience stores. Mm -hmm. These kids are not only seeing them in our schools, but also at gas stations across the country. Exactly. That's um, why we love this packaging too, is that it feels much more like a convenience store packaging. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that it's mm. not too heavy on the blueberry. It's just enough blueberry. Like I think if it was too much, kids might not like it, but this is the right amount. Mm -hmm. um, we are doing an accelerated launch. If you're familiar with General Mills products, mm -hmm. normally we launch things in December every year. Mm -hmm. um, and we know that with the past four months of all of the different things that everyone has been dealing with, um, one of the things that's missing is variety. And so we yes. wanted to make sure we could get some variety plays out into the market um, for you to be able to give something new to your students right. so they can have something new to taste. So Blueberry mm -hmm. Checks is coming October 26th awesome. uh, in the two grain cup. And then the second product that we are launching on October 26th is Nature Valley Soft Oatmeal Rounds. Ooh. Ooh. That sounds exciting. That yes. Sounds what, what that sounds they, amazing. What do they get since they're, they have something new and exclusive? They get the First Taste TV cutting board. Yeah. 
All right, let's let's see how we're gonna do this. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> that fits perfectly. I it. Yeah. You're welcome. That was made for it. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> Love it. And then yes. you got another cutting board because you're giving us something else. Yes. Oh. So this we brought for you today. Everything the product is in white packaging. So I brought this printout and I'll put this on the tray. Yeah. Um, so we've got oh, this on the board. Awesome. The Nature Valley Soft Oatmeal Rounds. Yes. They come in two flavors and they are. Delicious. There is apple cinnamon, and then we also have a banana chocolate chip. That's and we have it plated here so that you can actually use this as a meatless lunch option. Oh, great. Um, but it does work the same as the rest of our uh, yes. frozen entrees. So you think Pillsbury pancakes and waffles and all of that. This right. is an extension of that line, but we're now using the Nature Valley brand, which honestly is a pretty underutilized brand from our um, options. And so we have this, it's two grain. Um, and what we heard from operators that were testing it with us and parents as they were doing that um, is that it's really hearty and filling. You wouldn't even tell us before we came on camera what mm -hmm. this was because you wanted us to be surprised. So mission accomplished. Fabulous. I, I love that. how soft they are. Yeah, and I was gonna say, when you bite into it, there's a cinnamon yes. chip. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's not just like cinnamon mm -hmm. flavor. Mm -hmm. You cinnamon. can kind of see them yeah. if you look. They're really good, mm. yes. Oh, I see, I see. It adds oh. to the flavor. You see it? Mm -hmm. See the cinnamon chip? I see it. Uh-huh. All right. Love it. So glad that you like them. Awesome. Um, mm. So tons yeah. of new products coming from General Mills, <laughs> a couple coming in October. Um, and thank you for being our, our guinea pigs uh, trying these new things with us. Awesome. So I'm supposed to close the show, but my mouth is full. Oh, we can wait. <laughs> you do it so well, we'll wait. No, you do it. <laughs> So thank you so much for joining us on First Taste TV. <laughs> to learn more about GM, go to firsttastetv.com. Oh, and tune in on the next episode <laughs> of First Taste TV. <laughs> <laughs>